How's it going, everybody? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you today, as always. Hope you're all having a beautiful day, wherever you guys might be. So today's video, we are going to be playing Jala. That's right. She's got sword and axe. I'm pretty sure I have every Jala skin in the game, so we're going to try to play as many of them as we can. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and start it out with uh, what I got loaded right here. I think it looks pretty cool, so let's just go ahead and load it out like this. I usually go defense stance on Jala because she's only got three defense, you know. You want to bump that up to four just so you don't die really easily. Because she's already got a lot of strength, a lot of dex, and, a, you know, pretty decent speed right there. So, But mainly the best thing about Jala is her weapon. She's got sword and axe. So let's try to use those effectively. Alright, here we go. Going against Kalix. Playing as a more deck. Let's see how we can do with this Jala. So, one of the reasons that I wanted to play Jala was because I feel like a lot of people don't respect her. Like, they don't consider Jala to be a very good legend. Oh, we got him with that gimp right off the bat. I mean, how can you think Jala is a bad legend when she has two amazing weapons? As you can see, the axe is just crazy. All right, I got to not get gimp myself. This guy seems pretty good. The axe is insane. The sword is, again, one of the best weapons, I think. Maybe not the best. Honestly, I think gauntlets or scythe. <laughs> but both of Vortex's weapons are better. But that doesn't mean Jala's bad. And as you'll see, I'm pretty sure we can get a win here, even though Mordex is considered like the meta. And Jala is not. It only depends how you play. Let's see if we can get as much damage as possible on Mordex before he takes out my first stock. If we can get him all the way to red on his second... Okay, he got me. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have jumped over him like that, but... I try to, you know, vary the way that I get back on stage. Sometimes I jump over, sometimes I dodge through, sometimes I go down. It's really risky because if they read how you get back. A good edge guarder will, will make it very difficult to get back on stage. As, as you saw a little bit ago, I, I threw my weapon to help get on stage like that. It can just slow him down a little bit. All right, we gotta take out this second stock because he's damaging me pretty good. Oh boy. Ay! There we go, let's go. I will say that, uh, Fighting gauntlets with sword is a lot easier than some other weapons. So if you really don't like fighting gauntlets, you know, sword is a pretty good anti-gauntlet weapon. It just outreaches them for the most part. Maybe not the gauntlet downlight, but maybe that's about a tie with sword downlight. I don't really know. They're about the same distance, but sword neutral light, I think, is a little bit bigger hitbox than a gauntlet neutral light, you know? All right, we're going to... Let's just... Oh, that was a terrible side sig! Oh, I don't know why I did that. I thought he would come forward and he just did, stood there to <laughs> made me look stupid. So, don't ever don't throw out a side sig when they're way out of range against a good player like Clicks here. You'll, you'll get punished. But I'm, I'm pretty confident we can still get this win. Oh, no. Oh, no. The endless scythe combo. Not like this. And there's the game. Like I said... Uh, I think my game froze, so... Alright, that's... <laughs> I'll see you in the next game. Alright, not sure why my game froze there, but sometimes it happens. Uh, let's just go ahead and jump into another one with Jala! Alright guys, we got the same guy again. Clicks. Oh, I just realized uh, we're using the same skin. Oh, man. I really don't want to back out though, uh, because this is a rematch. I, I don't want to leave right on the rematch. He's going to think I'm leaving, you know, like bad manners. So let's go ahead and stick this one out. I'll change the uh, skin next time. No! He did to me exactly what I did to him last game. He gimped me first stock. Well, last game I was able to gimp him first stock and win. He just gimped me first stock, so I'm going to have to dig myself out of this hole now. This time we pick Reno instead of Mordex, so... 
Completely different legend, completely different weapons. Let's see how I do against Clickster here. Oh, that side thing almost killed. Whoa. Sometimes I like to just get close and personal, make them a little bit uncomfortable, you know? Blasters, really, the only thing they can do when you're really close is the down light or a neutral light and... Oh, what a snipe! And if you make them do a down light and they miss, you know, those are easy to punish if they have blasters now. Or, that's a different story. Oh, oh! Oh, almost got that gimp right there, but we're doing a ton of damage. Almost hit him with that neutral sig, that would have been awesome. His ground pound on orb actually stopped him. Oh, we are just shredding with sword. Not called Lucian Sword for no reason. Actually, my name has nothing to do with Brawl. <laughs> Sniped again. I feel like uh, weapon throws are this guy's kryptonite. He hasn't been able to dodge very many. Oh, man, he almost got me with that sneaky hit. That's all right, we're back. That was a terrible side light. He was just waiting for me. He was just spacing that. I gotta be more careful than that. Let's try and get a little bit of damage. We actually took the lead even after getting Gimp the first stock. I'm in a pretty good position here to win the game, which is already a win in a way. You know what I mean? Like we were we were right away in a, in a deep hole and we, we climbed right back out. Now anybody can win. Is Clicks gonna Gimp me again? Or can we hit him a few times with this ax? Ow, ow, okay. His blasters are not terrible, but I just have a good feel for what he's trying to do. I think I think I can win this. Just stay right above the ground so the down light won't hit. And it's a lot harder for the blasters to do anything. Oh, he's throwing them away. He doesn't want to use. Oh, wait, he got him again. <laughs> he probably wanted an orb. Feels bad. All right, we got him on the ropes. We got him on the ropes. What? What? How did that not kill? Oh, 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 goodbye. Goodbye. One more, one more. Goodbye. Weapon throws OP. And it looks like we froze again. Okay. Not really sure why my game keeps freezing, but hopefully that doesn't happen any again anymore. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and switch up that skin. My bad, guys, for not even realizing. Uh, let's go ahead and play Finn. Finn's the uh, crossover from Adventure Time. Really cool looking legend. I'm going to go Esports Colors. And I think I'm just gonna leave. Actually, his axe doesn't look that cool. Let's upgrade the axe at least. His sword looks pretty cool. Uh, let's give him the flash fire axe. That looks really cool. And I, I really like Finn's sword. It's very unique and it's the only sword that looks anything close to it. So I kind of just wanna leave that. Uh, the axe is okay. It's just, you know, it's a little bit boring. This axe looks a lot better. All right, let's see if we keep that win streak going, baby. We're going against Asher90667. He's played as Baraza, or more specifically, Amunraza. That's the skin he's using, the Egyptian skin Baraza. Love that skin. I used it in my Egyptian theme strikeout video. I have actually may have done one, or I may have done two Egyptian theme strikeouts in the past. I don't really fully remember, but I know I did at least one, so. All right, we gotta make sure not to get caught in those down lights on the blasters because those ones hurt. So far, so good though. I mean, we're doing just fine. Boom, goodbye. The only thing about this map Oh, see what I mean? You can't... Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Fist in the face. You can't really tell where the walls are on the edge because of the map. See what I mean? They're actually invisible. This is just a mod I have. For him, it doesn't even look like this. It just looks like regular shipwreck falls, so... When, when I'm fighting a blaster person, I really like to go behind them and mess with them. Like, oh my gosh, what a play! That was actually sweet. Alright, dodge the axe was, but how about the bob? Mm, 
Nice little side air there. I like how this guy plays though. He plays very aggressively. You know, he's throwing his weapon a lot. He's trying different fun moves like trying to incorporate the mine and whatnot. Ooh, got him in the face on that one. Oh, I dropped him! Okay, not that time. I honestly could have killed him the first time if I didn't drop that recovery, but it's all good. Well, thank you for holding that axe for me. <laughs> Zero to death! Finn OP, let's go! Oh my goodness. GG dude, GG, well played. All right guys, I'll play one more at least. Um, which Jala skin is my favorite? Probably Finn, and then second, probably, I don't know man, to be honest, most of these Jala skins I don't like. Uh, Jala, Gallo Glass Jala is probably my second favorite, but we've already played that one twice, so let's do, uh, I'll just go random and see what we get. All right, we're doing Silver Age Jala. I did random, don't judge me, it is what it is. So let's try to make this skin as best looking as we can. And honestly, I think Gala Colors looks really clean on this one. But other than that, um, we could go black, but let's go home team. I feel like home team's a good looking color on this skin. And for the axe, we're gonna go ahead and use the Bifrost Edge. This is the uh, Battle Pass tier 85 Epic Brin Battle Pass Axe. And then for the sword, let's use something also epic. How about the Power Surge? We're gonna have two epic weapons. Actually, Power Surge doesn't look that cool with these colors. Uh, oh well, we're gonna go with it. Oh man, though, the axe definitely looks amazing with these colors. The sword, it's okay. I just wish it had like a little bit more than just like yellow in it, but... All right, we're going against Phobic. He's doing the uh, Ember. Oh, he's got the cape. Ember only has a few defense, but like same with Jala really, so we have to be very careful. Oh baby, we did a lot of damage right there. Look how this axe looks. Isn't it awesome though? The way the lightning looks like that. Love it. Oh, what? What a... What a ground pound that was. And I'm dead. Oh, he saved me! Thank you so much, Ember. Okay, I'm dead. No. How am I still alive? <laughs> Finally died. Okay. We got him into red on a second stock, so it's all good. Dang, this is like hard to hit each other, so it's a really got to be a close game, I feel like, even though I'm winning a lot right now. He's adapting to me really well, so let's see how this goes, but I feel like we can still get the win. I have a big enough lead here, but we got to be really careful. I like how he went right through my Neutralite. So many Neutralites, he is just going right through somehow. Oh, mid-air side sick! GG, dude, GG. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I know I only played a few different skins, but I did play like four or five games, so... Uh, I just wanted to bring light to Jala because a lot of people don't play Jala because they think she's bad, and I just wanted to show that she's not bad. So yeah, if you appreciate that kind of video, please go ahead and drop a like, and be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. Um, I just want to apologize as well because the last few days I haven't 
been uploading, and it's just been because I've been sick. So, if I ever don't upload, upload for a few days, it's not because I'm abandoning YouTube. I'm just either sick or, like, taking a vacation and stuff. So, don't panic. <laughs> I'm always going to be putting out that content, guys. You know it, and I hope to see you in the next video, guys. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, friends.